What's up bafflers? James Whitworth here. Looking to expand your storage? An external hard drive is a great option, but you can now expand your storage using a cheaper internal hard drive or SSD. But James, I don't want to open my computer. With the Wavelink USB 3 docking station, just dock your hard drive or SSD and you're good to go. What's more is that it supports both 2.5 laptop and 3.5 inch desktop drives. Whether you have a spare SSD or hard drive lying around, or want a cheaper way to expand your storage, a docking station is just what you need. As always, you'll find the best Amazon deals around the world using the Genius link in the description. Let's have a look. Let's open the box. That didn't work. Or did it? It might have worked. <laughs> Hooray. This box looks absolutely huge in the camera. It's not really that big, but it is kind of big. That's Amazon Prime View. The actual box is about not even half the size. <laughs> yes, this is the box that it was inside. That box. Anyway, good packaging is never a problem. So, Wavelink, USB 3 single bay docking station for 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch HDD and SSD. It's plug and play, compatible with all 2.5 inch and 3.5 inch SATA 1, 2, 3. HDD and SSD supports up to 10 terabytes of storage capacity. Supports SATA 3 with transport speed rate of up to 6 gigabits per second. Supports UASP 70% faster than traditional USB 3.0. Super speed USB 3.0 to SATA connectivity. Speed up to 5 gigabits per second. It's also part of the business social compliance initiative. I don't actually know what it is. Um, what's this? The Million Tree Project. So yeah, they're involved in lots of different things, Wavelink. I haven't actually heard of Wavelink before. I just spotted this on Amazon and thought it looked pretty cool. So yeah, this is my introduction to Wavelink. So, in the box you've got one USB 3.0 single bay docking station, a power adapter, a USB extender cable and a user manual. So SIF so it works on both Windows and Mac OS X. I'm not sure about Linux, it doesn't say. I'm guessing it probably should do, but I don't know. Ports, USB 3.0, one SATA port and one DC power port. And it's also got a power status LED in its own little section. <laughs> I like that. So that is just a preview of what it is. How it works, so it's pretty self-explanatory, it's not difficult whatsoever. You've got your laptop or desktop computer, you just plug it in with USB and you plug that into the wall. This is important, you see a lot of things on Amazon which are just literally the SATA power and data cable to a USB free cable. However, for some drives, especially desktop hard drives, it won't work at all. It will just it just it just won't work it hasn't got the right sort of power so this has dedicated power which is exactly what you need so let's go and open the box open let's go ahead and open it up so what do we have inside wavelink doesn't feel particularly heavy so you could take this around with you if you wanted to Underneath that, we have a UK power adapter. It will vary depending on obviously where you live. You'll get the right power adapter. And we've got a USB free cable. Finally in the box, we have the user manual. English, Chinese and German. It's a very well presented user manual actually. I like that with nice images. But yeah, there's really not much to explain. It should be pretty straightforward. We like straightforward. I don't know if it actually looked cool. It looked cool in real life. Trust me. So, this is the Wavelink itself. Come on camera, please focus. Thank you. So yes, it's very simple. It's it's all plastic, it's not metal, but it does feel very nice. It's, it's quite a smooth plastic actually. And it's got nice screw based construction. <laughs> Basically, it feels like something you could probably take with you and it won't break, so that's always nice. So you've got USB 3, DC, 12 volt, and on off. A nice 
switch right there. The idea behind this is the fact that you can just dock your hard drive or SSD and it will be easy to dock and then remove afterwards. You don't have to open up your computer. Camera's died, we'll just have to use this one. I love it when things go to plan. I have my laptop set up here and the Wavelink docking station. I have 2.5 inch SSD drive, a 2.5 inch hard drive and a 3.5 inch hard drive as well. So this is a desktop one, laptop one, you know. So I'm gonna be testing each different one with the docking station. First things first, let's go ahead and plug it in. Charles, you know when you do that really dumb thing where you just realize that you literally have the charging cable right next to the camera that's just run out of battery? Hmm, maybe I should use that. A few minutes later. Hello. So it comes with a 12 volt, two amp power supply. Do we have a spare plug here? No, we don't. First things first, let's plug in the power cable. Next, we have the USB cable. Do, 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 do. It's one of these twisty Torelli things. I don't actually know, what are they actually called? So it plugs in from this way. And then it just plugs in to an available USB port, which I can't see. Bear with me here, this doesn't look very great because I've got my laptop. In reality, you wouldn't have your cable just like that, but this is just for the video. And the wide angle camera makes everything look massive. Through the power of amazing technology, in other words, an HDMI cable, I'm gonna show you everything on this screen here. So, let's bring back the task bar. I've just revealed my hidden secret. It's literally just the wallpaper. <laughs> that, that, that's all that is, it's just a wallpaper. And I hide the taskbar. If you want to know how to hide the taskbar, I don't know how much people want to know how to hide the taskbar. But if you do, let me know in the comments. I just realised you won't be able to see what's going on here because the writing is so small. Let's see if we can make the text bigger. Can, <laughs> what, what's happened? Yeah, that. this is 500% scaled. Um, that will kind of do. You should be able to see what's going on. No, no this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh my days. Well, that's a bit embarrassing. From what you can see, I need to follow my own video because I need to free up some storage space. So make sure it's switched off, then insert the hard drive. Should click like so. Switch on. You should be able to hear the hard drive whirring around and the window's going ding -ding -ding. and the hard drive has appeared wd green free hdd and there we go that's all the stuff that's on the hard drive so there you go that works really well when you want to remove the hard drive switch it off it will go building and then you're free to undock it next up let's try the laptop hard drive Switch it on. Ding -a ding. Take a few seconds for it to recognise it. And I have a feeling this hard drive is actually broken. This is an old hard drive. So let's try the solid state drive. switch on and there we go the solid state drive has appeared yep that other hard drive is definitely faulty that's nothing to do with the actual dock well we managed to test both a hard drive and an SSD so we know it works with both it's just that this hard drive happens to be faulty again with the SSD this is a Windows installation drive so that looks a bit more familiar so it really is as easy as that all you have to do is switch off and then you're free to remove the hard drive or SSD. It really is that simple. Also, you've got the benefit of having the USB free connectivity, meaning that file transfer speeds would be a lot better than a standard USB 2.0 
In fact, looking in the user manual, there's actually a USB-C version as well. So if your laptop has a USB-C port, then you can get a USB-C version of this device. So with USB-C, it supports USB 3.1 Gen 1 and Type-C standard. And USB 3 version supports USB 3.0 and transfer rates up to five gigabits per second. It's also compatible with USB 2.0. So this one works with both USB 3 and USB 2. If I manage to find the USB-C version of this, I'll put the link of that in the description as well. This video is not going so well, but I've just noticed that this is battery low, so I think it's stopped recording. If you notice that the audio suddenly gone a bit weird, I'm recording the audio with this camera. Thanks for watching. Remember, you'll find the best Amazon deals around the world using a genius link in the description. If you're new around here, hit subscribe and ding the bell icon to never miss out on another video. A true baffler isn't complete without some sweet merch from techbaffle.com slash shop. That's all for now. Drop a like if you've enjoyed this video. Any questions, let me know down below. Until next time, follow me at techbaffle and stay curious at techbaffle.com.